Welcome to your first step into the world of 3D creation. Imagine being able to bring any idea to life, designing characters for games, crafting detailed scenes for animations, or simply exploring your creativity. Blender is your gateway to all of that and more. When I started my 3D journey, I chose Character Creator because it was fun and engaging. If you're interested, I've got a playlist that covers everything you need to know about it. But today, we're focusing on Blender, not just because it's free, but because it's powerful enough to kickstart your 3D side hustle. My goal is to help you create your first commercial product within just a few lessons. I know Blender's interface can seem overwhelming, especially if you're just starting out. But don't worry, I'm here to help you every step of the way. We'll break it down, one project at a time, building your confidence as we go. And here's the best part. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on courses that might not even suit your learning style. Everything you need is right here, for free, and tailored to help you succeed. This isn't just about picking up a new skill, it's about opening a new avenue for income, just like I did. By the end of this journey, you'll have the skills and confidence to turn your 3D creations into something you can actually sell. So let's dive in and start creating something amazing together. Lesson 1. Navigating Blender's Interface Alright, so when you first open Blender, I know it can seem like there are way too many buttons and options staring back at you. But trust me, even the pros don't use every single function in Blender. I'm going to show you how to navigate the parts that really matter. When you open Blender 4.2, you'll see the default window in object mode within the 3D viewport. You can switch between different viewports using the drop-down menu in the top left corner. Using your mouse to navigate now, if you've got a three-button mouse, we can start playing around with navigation right away. To rotate the view, just press the middle mouse button and move your mouse around. If you hold shift and press the middle mouse button, you can pan the view, which basically means moving it side to side or up and down. Want to zoom in and out? Just scroll your middle mouse wheel. Or if you prefer, you can hold control and press the middle mouse button to zoom. Let's practice. Now, let's open up Blender together and try these out. Follow along with me, and don't worry if you need to pause and practice a bit. First, let's rotate the view a full 360 degrees. Nice work. Next, let's move the viewport up and down. You're doing great. Finally, let's zoom in and out. Perfect. You're already getting the hang of navigating the viewport. Here's a quick tip. If you don't have a three-button mouse, you can go to the Edit menu, then Preferences, and under Input, check the box that says Emulate Three-Button Mouse. This lets you navigate using Alt plus left click, which is similar to how other software does it. Using the numpad for quick views, if you've got a numpad, it's super handy for jumping to different views quickly. Let's try it out with a simple object. First, Let's delete the default cube. Then, press Shift plus A to bring up the Add menu, select Mesh, and choose Monkey, Suzanne. You can also find the Add function up in the top menu bar. Now, let's explore some quick view commands with the numpad. Press 1 to see the front view of the monkey. Press Ctrl plus 1 to see the back view. Press 3 for a side view, and Ctrl plus 3 for the other side. Press 7 to see the top view, and Ctrl plus 7 for the bottom view. You might also notice a view gizmo in the top right corner of the viewport. It's another way to navigate, but I personally prefer using shortcuts. Try both and see what you like. For my workflow, I use an XP Pen Artist 22 Pro drawing tablet and a Steam Deck to set up my shortcuts. I'll show you how to customize your shortcuts in future lessons to make your workflow faster. Two more handy shortcuts press 5 to switch between orthographic and perspective views. Press 0 to jump into the camera view. At first, 
This might feel a bit restrictive because it doesn't move freely like the regular viewport. But there's an easy fix. To move the camera more freely, go to the View menu on the right side of the viewport. Under View, check the box labeled Lock Camera to View. Now you can navigate the camera view just like any other view. All right, let's put this into practice. Follow my lead and press the correct keys. First, let's switch to the side view of the monkey. Awesome. Now, go to the top view, then the bottom view. Nicely done. Next, switch to the front view. Perfect. Finally, jump into the camera view. Excellent. You've just mastered the basics of navigating Blender. Ending in the next few lessons, we'll get comfortable with Blender's interface and controls, laying the foundation for everything you'll create moving forward. We'll start small, but soon you'll be designing your very first character ready for animation and more. And the best part? You'll already be on your way to making your first commercial product. If you're serious about learning 3D and want to see real progress without spending a fortune, you're in the right place. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming lessons. We're building a growing community of 3D enthusiasts here, and I'm excited to see what you'll create. Let's dive in and start this incredible journey together.